Right, so I've brought you to my uh, now slightly overloaded shed, as you can see at the moment. Boards have been taken out of that one for the Christmas time because obviously it's quite cold out here and I've not fixed the door on it yet, so it's. I'm going to put UPVC on. Boards are out of all of them at the moment, and then I picked up this one, so it cost me nothing. Um, was broken when I got it. Uh, clearly, see, it's no longer broken. I've currently got it in free play mode. What I've had to do with it though is really, so the problem with it was that little thing if you can see it which is a Barcrest green label power supply. Now you can't actually see on the video the power supply but two of the fuse holders are off altogether. I've had to bypass them. So when they got older these fuses, uh, what seems to happen with them is when you tighten them up it's only a thin piece of metal holding the top of the fuse holder to the bottom of the fuse holder. and. What seems to happen is when you over tighten them, they basically snap and the only way to fix them is to solder them back up. So I soldered up one, got it back together just about, tightened it. As I, as I tightened it again, it snapped. So the only like legitimate solution long term for it would be to remove the fuse holder, just get rid of it altogether. You can see this is the rebuild by the way, so if you can see how clearly you can see it on here. Uh, it's the vivid rebuild of it rather than the original. Now the original was emptyable, because it had free win, so I think there is a video knocking about on the internet showing you the free win, showing you what you meant to have done with it, but it all centred around this feature, so nearest win, and it had a really massive block on it, um, I seem to think it was at 50 quid was where the block was on the machine, uh, but the, when they originally programmed it they didn't realise that you could quite happily make the machine give you enough nudges to set up 150 quid which was nice um, and completely free so you could because it was over the block just basically make the machine give you a win it didn't want to give you it never registered the win and uh, made the machine emptyable obviously eventually the machine does get happy enough if you force it for long enough where it will give you the 250 but that's basically the machine so this is now running um, although it's not in a position really where I'd let anybody else have it purely because I have bypassed two fuse holders on it so um, when I got it and turned it on originally the machine wouldn't boot up at all um, it just gives giving me a halt so if you can see the lights underneath there are all green when I got it it wasn't all green it was um, four solid greens which are obviously coming from a battery and it had uh, the halt light so I did a little bit of research online, I had a little look around, I spoke to a couple of my mates they said oh it might be faulty this, it might be faulty that um, as it turns out it wasn't faulty this or faulty that it was just actually that the battery was totally flat and it had been off for so long now the person I did get it off did say it was um, it was just gathering dust in their house. Um, they were pretty much at the verge of skipping it, so they were gonna skip it. And uh, I said to them, listen, I can't get to you. Um, I'm in work, can't get to you, so come and get it off you. I do want it, I'll take it. But um, I can't get it. Anyway, made, made a compromise where they basically left it outside for me one night to come and get. So there was a bit of ice on it and whatever, I actually got it. Put it in the car on my own. Um, which is no mean feat really when they're about 125 kilograms but chucked it in the car, um, dragged it home and uh, obviously I've been working because I work in retail so it's very very busy this time of year um, and uh, got the power supply out where I could do and have a little play around with it and then obviously bypass both those fuses. I don't recommend doing stuff like that by the way so don't think just because I'm an idiot and do stuff like this it means that you should do it as well because clearly you shouldn't. Um, fuses are there for a reason to prevent damage to the boards or it even potentially like setting a light so um, I, I know what I'm doing so I've bypassed it and that's fair enough I certainly wouldn't recommend most people to to do that. I've only done it to get it on. I have got another power supply coming and my intention is to fix this green label because I've got that many different, if you have a look there, power supplies with fuse holders knocking around my house that I'm pretty certain I can just remove to solder them up, put them back together and then we'll have a, a fully working machine. Obviously the mech's got to go to my mate Mark and that's going to get um, 
going to get updated so it'll be fully working and I don't know how long I'll keep it for. Um, I personally don't find this machine absolutely amazing. I find it a little bit boring although it's got stacks and stacks of features. It does have a few little things. You do have to see the future the same as the normal version did do um, and it can be all right but you know it has got a very static block at 50 quid um, and like I said this will definitely be re-chipped because it's it's vivid so um, although weirdly it's badged up BWB there, <laughs> BWB at the top, and yet quite clearly on the bottom glass, it clearly says Vivid, so um, that's where we are with it. Um, hopefully it'll be a bit of fun for a bit, but yeah, for me it's probably not a keeper. Uh, I have let Gold Strike go as well, so I sold that just before Christmas, somebody bought that as a Christmas present. Again though, like that was one of my favourites of all time, but the artwork at the bottom was a little bit damaged. Um, so it wasn't perfect and I'd rather have a £15 version than a 25 anyway uh, So if one of them pops up, I'll possibly get it cheap. I'll get it But um, for the moment really all I've got to do is Sort the doors out on the front because you can see there's still wooden ones and you can see the brickwork in the middle All that's going to come out and there's going to go a view PVC door on it or maybe UVC patio doors Which I think would be quite nice um, And then hopefully I can leave all of these running and sort out the room and make it so they all fit in nicely um, over like the coming few months but anyway quick update hope you enjoyed looking at it um, not much gameplay I know but I have stuff to do it's New Year's Day yeah. thanks a lot cheers